Dog! Dog! Yeah. You ready to go downstairs? Yeah. We need to do an inspection. You're gonna bring that with you, cut out, and we'll put it against the car and work out the branding. Yeah? Yeah. Flying Huntsman there, homage to whatever it's called. Homage to, yeah. That's it. I like it. Yeah, it's mint. Mimi. Me, me. Looks like a brum, doesn't it's it? It's cute though. Look at that screen. Yeah, it's sick. This is my idea. It's your idea? Yeah, yeah. Mate, I, do you know what? I'll knock you over that. Fence, mate. Still my idea. Mate. All right, you can own it. When it doesn't sell, it'll be your idea. Yeah, that's it. Do you know what? I just think we should clean it up and just take it like this. <laughs> All that colour. Just people that say it's coach built. This is what we've done. We did the whole front end conversion. We offer this conversion for two hundred thousand pounds. Two hundred thousand pounds. Yes. Yeah. Right, done. Do you want to get them in? Let's get this done. Oh, we're just, this is a cutaway shot. Yeah, oh. we're just, just looking, yeah. We're just pretend, we're just rhubarb and custarding. Yeah. So just start there and pan down. Rhubarb and custard, rhubarb and custard. Really like that. Looks really good. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. Shame about the number plate you put on it. Shame we can't take it off. But oh well. We don't want to look We can't take it off. We can't, though. Andreas won't do it. Why don't we be sat behind this counter while he's filming? Come. What, what, facing we're, that way? We're looking at the floor. No, so if we stand there and he's filming... Yeah. Why don't we just talk about it here? Yeah, that's a good idea. I need to put this chewing gum somewhere. Why don't you just stick it under the bumper? You know what would happen if you did that, don't you? What? Exactly. So we're at the Geneva Motor Show, 2019. Myself are here with me today. And we're going to tell you a little bit about the car that we've just built for this special occasion. Doug, you go first. Hello. Do I get to talk now? No, no you, you don't talk. Oh, right. You just got married. Right. See how long that lasts. Oh, come on. Just explain to me, yeah. in coach-built terms, yeah. what have we done to create that? Because in the normal eye, it just looks like We've just it looks like we've pushed the, modified. It looks yeah. like we've pushed the grill back, but in fact we've brought the body forward. Yes, so it's a complete new front end chassis. Chassis. Well, not completely. We've extended the chassis. Extended the chassis. Yeah. So do you want to sort of go through the whole run and explain to us? Well, we've taken a Defender 90 and we've extended the front. Part no, of the we chassis. took a Defender 90 hardtop 
turned it into a cabriolet. You always do this. Yeah, but f oh, you, you just do it. Like no, because the thing is, this is the only way. He's going to take over my throne. Really? Yeah, that's what he's there yeah. for. I'm going to kick him off the loo. All right. So. What about me? Why no, no, I? you just you just keep out. We just got married, mate. Okay. Stay on your honeymoon for a minute. Right, you, go on. you flew me over here just for this. Yeah, just keep your mouth shut. Can I go back? Stay on your honeymoon for a minute. Stay on your honeymoon for a minute. You've been out there for a whole month, you pervert. Come on. Okay, so Defender 90, we have taken and we have basically sawn the top off to make it the soft top that you see before you with the roll bar, extended the front end of the chassis. Come I'm on, more, I'm boring. No, let me, let me just get the Doug and myself are going to go around this car and show you exactly what we've done. This is not your typical form of styling, this is actually coach building, a proper way of making the car look unique and different, a traditional way of styling it, and a traditional way of coach building it. We took it, we stripped it, and then we turned it into a cabriolet. Now turning it into a cabriolet is not just a simple thing to do. We had to strengthen all the subframes, all the framework around the car, and all around the side panels. So the whole car has been... It's not a subframe. Well, roll cage. Yeah, and roll cage. I built a roll cage around the car, yeah? Roll cage. So, let's just, just, just ruined it for me, you piece oh, of shit. subframe. Oh, just sh shut your mouth for a second. You Subframe's under there. Anyway, but well, go on. Roll cage. Honestly, I don't know what you get really involved in it for. The shame thing is, we were doing this in the last minute, so we haven't actually completed the car in full. But we will show it again to you when we have done. Meaning that... It's a prototype. This is a prototype, exactly. So, we've got the interior to do yet on the back... We've got the interior to do yet on the rear, so we're going to turn it into a six-seater. But that's going to happen on another day. So let's talk about what we've done here. So you want to just tell me a little bit about coach building. What have we done here to make that look like a series two, paying the homage? No, make it look like a homage. 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 Now, do you want to tell me a bit about the homage to? Why we created it as a homage to? Because we both really like the Land Rover Defender Series too. No, you do. I do. It was yeah. my idea. It was his idea, to be fair. And I thought, you know what? It's, Doug's been with us for a couple of years. It's nice to donate something. So it's uh, mine. No, no, no. You donated it to that me. Like, no, no, shut up a minute. It's my, oh, Just thanks, cut that. That, that didn't sound right. Doug has been with us for a couple of years, and we thought we'll do something in memory of. So we create this beautiful I'm thing. I'm not dead. You nearly died. I nearly died, yeah, did, but yeah, I pulled yeah, back. Yeah. I bounced back. So. Just, just so, so we have created this homage to, which I'm f***ing up saying, start again. So what have we done here? We've actually extended the chassis from taking it to a 90 to 98, which is eight inches longer. We've cut it from here, extended it to nine inches. We've extended it eight inches. Me, how big is that? It's not about the, yeah, it's uh, about eight inches. It's not though. about the length, mate. That's three, mate. Three inches. Right, okay. Do you want to get out of the way for a second? It's not a So you don't need me in People the need to see, just come stand behind me if you want to be in the camera. <laughs> What's that in your hand? <laughs> it's a taser. Right, carry on then. This Defender started life as a 90. It's not a 98. What are so we've extended the car by 98 millimetres. No, we've extended the car by eight, cent eight inches. Doug, how much have we extended it by? Just tell us. Eight inches. That's third of a foot? It's not, it's two thirds of a foot. <laughs> Mate, you, you're making this so complicated. You couldn't get eight inches out. Now, now we're talking in fractions. You, you're not going to get it. Oh, he's got a phone call. The vehicle's totally coach built. We've extended the chassis from a Defender 90 to a 98. So by eight inches, which is two thirds of a foot. Of a foot. Which or is? 200 mil. 200, 200 mil. Inches. No, I f***ed it up now. So we extended it by 20 centimeters, as simple as that. Not difficult, was it? 
Yeah. Wonderful. So let's carry on then. Right, okay. So as you can see, we've continued with our conventional styling, which is a square box wide arches. Uh, we've gone for a very retro classic style wheel. You can see here that it's not your, just your typical steel wheel. We actually got a dome in the middle of it, which gives it that more of a 1930s, 40s and 50s style. Um, and a nice Cooper tyre. And with a very nice looking Cooper white tire. wall Cooper tyre. SST Pro. What we've done also here is we haven't added the uh, uh, standard side step. We've used one of these um, stirrup steps. What is it called? Stirrup steps. Stirrup steps. Single stirrup steps. Which suits the car really well, gives it that classic feel and classic look. Coming over to the front of the vehicle, you can see here that, I mean, that there, personally speaking, when the idea came across the table that we're going to do a classic style, paying a homage to on a Defender, I thought, I'm not sure how we're going to make this work. But when actually we finished it, it looks absolutely great. You can see it's got a twin screen. It's Split got screen, yeah. gigs on the front as well. You see them? These are not just cut outs in front of it on a piece of sheet metal, which probably is what it is. <laughs> um, and it's got some rubber dinghies around it, which gives it that more um, Durex feel. They're seals and I think every car has them. Yeah. Otherwise yeah. they'd leak, yeah. Have you noticed that someone's copied our number plate? Yeah. Uh, that's a bit strange. It's catching though, on already, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Look at this very, very closely. I mean, this is not a glass fibre panel. This is actually hammer formed aluminium. So it's been done in a proper way. Um, do you want to sort of carry on from here, mate? Because I'm a little bit burnt out on this. Why don't we just carry on tomorrow? Yeah, we've seen the stand now. Just say we're here now. We've got the cars on the stand. And we're looking forward to a very successful weekend. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to enjoy it. So join us on Carnifem. What stand are we on? Car TV. We don't have a radio show yet, mate.